Look at the pupil in the center of the eye. Based on what you've learned about light, why do you think the pupil looks black with a white spot on it? Black is the color we see when there is no light. So the pupil must be black because there is no light being scattered from the area back to the camera or their eyes. There is a white spot because the light from the camera flash reflected off that area back to the camera. The pupil is like a window into the eye that is covered by very high quality, flexible, transparent, and smooth material. This covering is called the cornea. Almost all light that reaches the pupil goes through the cornea and enters the eye. Only a small fraction of it is reflected. When a person sees an object, light from the object enters the eye through the cornea and through the lens, which is another high quality transparent material. The iris is the name for the colored ring you can see around the pupil. The light continues through the eye, which is filled with a transparent water-based fluid and reaches the back of the eye, called the retina, where it is almost completely absorbed. You may have seen photos where people have red eyes. This red eye effect is the result of red light that has been reflected by the retina come back out of the eye through the lens, pupil, and cornea and continued moving until it reaches the camera. The retina is full of small cells that are sensitive to light. Some are sensitive to different colors of light and those are called cones because they are shaped like pine cones. Others shut down normal light levels and become active only when light is very weak. When the light is this weak, the cone cells do not work. The cells that work only at very weak light intensities are called rods. They are rod shaped. When the light hits any of these cells, they produce an electric signal that is carried by the optic nerve to the brain. This image shows the cones and rods from the side. There are a lot more rods than cones in this photo. This is not true for all parts of the retina. There are three kinds of cone cells. One kind is sensitive to mainly red light. The second kind is sensitive to mainly green light. And the third kind is sensitive to mainly blue light. When a person sees red light, the red cones do most of the signaling, which goes to the brain. When a person sees green light, the green cones do most of the signaling and likewise when blue light is seen. Both red and green cones are equally sensitive to yellow light. When the brain gets equal signals from both green and red cones, it interprets this as yellow light. That is why red and green light together look like yellow. It is because red light makes red cone signal and green light makes green cone signal. So the brain gets similar signals from them just as it would if you were seeing true yellow light. You can use a similar explanation to understand why you see a mixture of any two colors of light as if it were a different color. Cones make signals in combination, which is interpreted by the brain as a new color. This image shows a CCD sensor. CCD stands for Charged Coupled Device. Its actual size is 30 millimeters across, or about one inch. You can see the small square in the bottom right hand corner of the CCD sensor. Each pixel in the enlarged image sends an electrical signal from the CCD sensor to a miniature computer that is in every digital camera. The pixels are arranged in groups of four. One red pixel, one blue pixel, and two green pixels. Just like there are three types of cones in the retina, there are three types of light sensors on the CCD. Therefore, the CCD was made to simulate the way the human eye sees. Also, camera sensors have twice as many green pixels to mimic the human eye, because the human eye is most sensitive to green light.